Hello, I'm Rob Lawton, and this video is a quick introduction to DxO Viewpoint 4, what it does and when to use it. Now, DxO is perhaps best known for its lens corrections, fixing issues like corner shading, edge softness, chromatic aberration, and distortion. Almost all lenses produce some degree of distortion, and some of the latest mirrorless lenses actually rely on digital corrections to manage it. But there's another type of distortion, perspective distortion. It's nothing to do with the quality of the lens, but where you stand and how you tilt the camera. The most obvious perspective distortion in everyday photography is converging verticals, or the so-called keystone effect, where the sides of tall buildings appear to converge. This is just one of the perspective and lens issues Viewpoint 4 is designed to correct. Getting your picture straight might seem like a minor chore, but it can make the difference between an amateur snapshot and a professional looking image. Viewpoint does a lot more than that though, as we'll see shortly. There is one thing to clear up first. If you had the DxO Nick collection, you might be thinking, all oh, this sounds very familiar. Doesn't Nick Perspective do exactly the same thing? It does pretty much. But Viewpoint 4 is for photographers who don't need or want all the Nick plugins, or are already using DxO Photolab and want advanced correction tools integrated into its non-destructive workflow. There are three ways you can use Viewpoint 4, as a standalone program, as a plugin, or via its integration with DxO Photolab 7. As a standalone program, it can be used to browse folders of photos and to open and correct them directly. This is fine if you shoot JPEGs, as many photographers do, since Viewpoint can apply automatic distortion correction using its own correction profiles, or it will prompt you to download them if they are not installed yet. There are two things to be aware of though, which are that as a standalone program, Viewpoint 4 cannot open RAW files, and its automatic distortion correction can only be applied to unedited JPEG images. But there's a lot more to Viewpoint 4 than just distortion correction. What's more, if you use it as a plugin from within Lightroom or Photolab, for example, you can leave them to process your RAW files and concentrate on Viewpoint's advanced perspective tools. So let's take a run through the tools panels to see what they do. At the top is the distortion panel, which we've already covered. Below that is a tool that's unique to Viewpoint 4. If you shoot a lot with ultra-wide lenses, you'll probably be used to the way objects distort and become elongated at the edges of the frame. You might even think that's just how these lenses are. Well, the volume deformation panel fixes it. There's a horizontal and vertical option, which you'll probably find the most useful because it preserves undistorted straight lines in the image. However, if you have human figures in the frame and straight lines are less important, the diagonal option can give you more natural looking results. The perspective panel is the next one down, and this is where you can fix converging verticals and horizontal convergence too. You can do this manually using on-screen alignment tools, and the eight point alignment is particularly powerful, but the auto-correct options work really well, maybe all you need. The next panel down is the reshape panel, and this is new to viewpoint four. With some images, it's only a small area or a particular subject that appears distorted, and you don't need to correct the whole image, or maybe you don't want to. This is where the reshape panel comes in. First, you choose a grid. This splits the image up into a mesh of control points or nodes. Then you drag on these nodes to push or pull those areas in different directions. It sounds complicated, but it's not. And it's a quick and simple way to fix only those areas that need fixing, not the whole image. The next panel down is the horizon panel. This is pretty simple and the name says it all. Sometimes your images don't actually have any perspective issues and they're simply not straight. So you can fix that here. Next is the crop panel. This becomes enabled automatically when you apply any corrections in the panels above. Any geometric correction will produce black wedges around the picture. So the crop tool crops them out automatically. The auto button does it for you, while the crop button lets you choose the crop yourself. Now so far, this has all been pretty scientific and technical, but right at the bottom, there's something different. The miniature effect panel uses blur to simulate the shallow depth of field of a miniature scene or diorama. Viewpoint 4 is not the only place you'll find a tool like this, but it does something rather clever. It doesn't just apply a progressive blur around the central line, but lets you control the width of the central sharp strip. 
so that objects don't start going out of focus straight away. It's a bit of a surprise to find such a playful tool in such a technical plugin, but very welcome. And like so many things in Viewpoint 4, it looks simple, but works extremely well. So that's it for my quick tour of DxO Viewpoint 4. I hope you found it useful.